Hello folks, my name is Matthew Peterson and I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works where we do everything from on-demand learning uh, to private trainings to virtual mentoring to hackathons and we have this YouTube channel as well. So if you're here for the first time, make sure to hit like, subscribe, well like the video if you like it at the end, but make sure you hit subscribe uh, because that way you'll get notifications for every video that we drop and we typically drop uh, two to three videos every single week covering things like Power BI, Power Apps, Azure, SQL. Uh, so this week's video that I'm bringing to to you is all about Power BI and a new functionality that was brought into the November 2021 update. And it all is around bookmarks. So whether you've used bookmarks in the past or this is your first time hearing about bookmarks, we got a pretty cool feature to show you. Now what bookmarks do is give you the ability for your end user, your data consumers, to select something on the report page and then see a very specific view of exactly what you want them to see. This is great for data storytelling when you're trying to make that impact, you're trying to make that change at your company or that, that call to action, and there's certain views of the data that you want them to see. Now, the old way of doing bookmarks is a little bit cumbersome because you would have to set up individual views of your bookmarks, you'd have to add things to the report page for your users to click on, and then you'd have to tie an action to those clicks for what bookmark it was going to. Now, with the new update, you don't have to do all of that. So now that you're here, let's take a look at how we can use this new updated feature. I'm going to compare it to the old way as well as how we now can do it. So let's head on over to the desktop application and take a look at my report. So as you can see, I have a report right here and I've already set up a bookmark the old way. So I have an info bookmark. And this is a video I did uh, about two, three months ago where uh, I had a, during one of my VMs, my uh, user said, hey, I have a custom, um, my people who are using these reports, they're not the most Power BI savvy. Is there a way just to give them like some quick facts about the report? Uh, I said, yeah, there's a way. So we set it up and I said, you know what, let me make a YouTube video about it. So I just made this in PowerPoint, made a quick little slide out of it, took a screenshot, added it in. Uh, and as you can see, this just has a few things on it few user tips. So if you're interested in how I made this, I'll put the link in the description of this video for the video I had recorded about a few months ago. But in order for this bookmark to work, I had to add it to the page. I had to use my selection pane in order to hide and show certain things, which we're not going to go up to too much in this video. But then the last part was adding action. So for example, this X icon that's currently on this view, I have an action added to it. And the action that I have added to it as I say, I want you to go to a bookmark and the bookmark I want you to go to is the no info bookmark. So when they click on this and when you're testing bookmarks in the desktop, you have to hold down the control key. So they click on it and it takes them to no info bookmark, which I don't have the information showing. Well, how did I get to that original bookmark? Well, they had to click on that eye icon. Again, what did I have to do? In the initial setup, I had to add an image or a button and I put the eye button in here. I then had to come down to the action attach it to a bookmark and say take them to the info bookmark. So you can see that if you've got maybe five or six bookmarks on one page, it's a little bit cumbersome, right? So how did Power BI give us an update that makes this a little bit easier? Well, let's take a look. It's located in your insert ribbon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the insert ribbon. We're then going to come over to buttons and then we're going to come down to navigator. And again, you have to be running the 2021 edition or later. So I'm going to say, you know what, let's add in my bookmark navigator. So when I select it, as you can see, it has now added all three of my bookmarks into this little navigation experience. So what my end users can now do is they can click on the info bookmark and they've already got it tied right to the page. I didn't need to make a separate button. And if they click on no info bookmark, you can see that now they're at the no info. But a little bit of an issue, right? So fairly easy to set up, but you're saying, Matt, what if I've got 10 bookmarks and I only want to show a few of them for this one page? How do I accomplish that? Well, the way that you're going to do that is you're going to set up groups in your bookmark. So you're just going to organize basically by page or however you want to do this of what bookmarks you want to be displayed. Very simple process. So let me show you how we do it. So over on the right hand side here, I'm going to come on over to my bookmarks pane. And if you don't know how the bookmarks pane is accessed, it's in the view ribbon and you just click on bookmarks pane. And so once I'm here, I'm going to control select what I want to have. So I want the info bookmark and I want the no info bookmark. 
And so that's one of the things like when you're control selecting, it doesn't look like when I control select and no info that it was selected. So just in case you run into this issue, if you just move your mouse off of it, you can see that both are highlighted. So just a little troubleshoot there. So now that we have that done, I'm going to come over, hit the ellipses and say, I want to group these. And so now this is group one. So again, so this US married is no longer going to be in this bookmark up here. So what I want to do is update this bookmark navigation experience. So I have it selected up here again. Now when I come over to the format pane and I go underneath bookmarks, instead of bookmark being all, I'm going to change this to only showing group one. And so now we only have group one. So if I control select info bookmark, I've got my info bookmark. If I go to no info bookmark, I've got the no info. However, there's another feature part of here. Because if I only got two views, the info and the no info, do I really need to take up that much space on my report page? Well, I don't because we have an option for deselection, meaning when we deselect a bookmark, it can go to a specific view of another bookmark and that's going to save us space right here on the report page. So let me show you how we set this up. Again, a lot of new features here and hopefully you're going to see that you can utilize these in old reports and new reports that you're making. So the way that I utilize this feature is we're going to still select the entire bookmark uh, navigation itself. And then over on the right hand side, I have this allow deselection. So this is going to be what do I want to happen when somebody deselects something? So I'm going to say allow deselection, turning it to on. And then I click what do I want them to what do I want to launch when somebody deselects it? Now I could say none, but that really doesn't serve a purpose for my scenario. So I'm going to say, you know what, when they deselect, I want it to go back to the no info bookmark stage. So my goal here is I'm just going to have one button, they click on it, information shows my info bookmark, when they unselect it, boom, it goes away. So that's the end goal of what I'm trying to accomplish. So I'm going to say on deselection, go back to my no info bookmark. So let's see what happens here. If I click on my info bookmark, there it goes. If I now unselect it, now it's gone. Now you might have also noticed that when I set up that deselection, this high deselection button was turned to on. Well, that's really what I want because if I, if I put it off here, it still works the same way. So if I come over here and I hit info bookmark and then I unselect it, it still takes me back to no info. But this really is taking up real estate that I don't need. So that's definitely why I would put the high deselection bookmark to on. So right away we are seeing some really good functionality with this, setting up these bookmarks much quicker. But you have the ability to format these as well. You're not stuck to just that, that rectangular um, shape itself. And where all that's going to be accessed is right back over here again in your format pane. So in your format pane, if we come on up to the shape, we can see right now we're set to rectangle. But if I'm feeling more that I want some kind of a octagon, I can choose octagon. We get the octagon image here. Um, we then can change the rounded edges. We can change the size. We can change our text, the fill, the outline, all of your regular formatting options that you had with old shapes, they're still here. They're just embedded in what's called the bookmark navigation. Now what I'm going to do real quick to show you that there's another thing you can do with the layout of them is I'm going to change my bookmark back to showing all three of them just so this is a little bit easier to see. So over here I'm going to come back to the bookmarks itself. I'm going to say let's show it back to all. And then I'm also going to do our high deselection, just so you can see the different, uh, different ways we can format this. And so then over here for my grid layout, come on up here. We can do either horizontal, which we currently see. We have the option for vertical, which I would need to definitely move this over. But you can see vertical, you could do something like putting this on the left-hand navigation side of your page. It's really about what you want to see. And then your other option that you have uh, is for a grid. So it looks more like that grid experience. So again, this is just a way you could take an old bookmark, set it up, change it over to this new bookmark experience, and it's really how much fun and how much design do you want to have with it. 
Uh, now I have other reports where I have images and icons that are attached to my bookmarks. So one image is a, a table, one is a chart. So I think I'm gonna still keep those the way they are because I just like to see that. But if you're just going for that quick nitty gritty, setting these bookmarks up with not having much experience, look how quick and easy it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in future ones. Um, like, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Uh, and if there's any future videos that you wanna see done, please let us know because uh, a lot of the videos that we make on our channel come from comments uh, from our end users. So again, I hope to see you in the next video.